Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Summer IT Teacher. My name is Shihab Dool. If you are installed Parrot OS on your Raspberry Pi 5 and you are looking to connect it remotely through RDP or Remote Desktop Protocol, then you are in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up RDP on Parrot OS OS. Uh, running on Raspberry Pi hardware so you can access your Raspberry Pi 5 desktop running Parrot OS from any device on your network. This is incredibly useful if you want the flexibility to manage your Raspberry Pi without needing a monitor, keyboard or mouse connected to it all the time. With RDP, you get the full Parrot OS experience on your main computer make it it easier to run updates manage files or work on project remotely that's cool i always use rdp uh, every time so it's very easy because i don't need to have separate keyboard and mouse all the time because i have one system i can rdp i can do my all the project so stick around and by the end of this video you'll be able to control your raspberry pi uh, running Parrot OS from anywhere on your network. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, you just open a terminal. Uh, now uh, we need to install a tool called XRDP. Okay, so we're going to use XRDP, which is make us easier to uh, set up remote desktop connection on Parrot OS. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type sudo apt update and I'm going to sudo apt in sudo apt install xrdp dash y so we can see in here xrdp is already newest version because I already installed before I do something so that's it that's it so just in case if you install in the first time it will ask you to press y and all this information and it going to install uh, it takes some time depend on your internet so everything looks perfect once you install okay this uh, this the next thing you need to do is so once installed we need to start xrdp service and it's set to start automatically on boot to do so we're going to type sudo sys uh, sudo system uh, ctl enable xrdp so first we're going to uh, we're going to enable the XRDP connection. Okay, so we can see enable, everything looks good. Now next I'm going to type sudo systemctl start XRDP. Uh, did I type wrong sudo systemctl system start XRDP. What I'm missing is sudo s y s t e m c t l s y s t e m t e m c t l start x r d p oh yeah <laughs> my bad my bad my bad it's already already started I don't see any error message okay so it's running uh, let me check something yeah, so uh, my bad so if if you get a you know issues or something like that uh, so normally what you need to do is sudo system ctl uh, status xrdp so uh, uh, sudo systm ctl status xrdp I'm sorry I typed some wrong commands because I have lightnings coming all around and for some reason I couldn't see the keyboard uh, I apologize now when you type here let me because I don't see any issues because if I if I have any issues it will give me some red uh, red mark so what happened here is I type it type it correctly so it's, it's already start and um, I want to see why I'm doing here system okay so I'm missing E oh my goodness 
too much coffee uh, I'm missing E so I typed the correct command now you can see it's it's running I is running so XRDP is running I don't have any issues so everything, everything is perfect so yeah don't worry uh, everything is perfect I'm going to control C to exit the uh, system now just in case if you have any issues I think this is also good for troubleshooting purposes if you have any issues uh, if it's red or something just don't worry just reboot the machine okay sometimes uh, the Parrot OS Raspberry Pi system need to reboot right once it's reboot it will start it again just in case if you install two times or three times having issues just remove it and reinstall back again and reboot then it should be fine okay the other thing is I want to tell you that if you have firewall installed uh, probably the firewall can block your port I didn't install the firewall so uh, probably I, I can install and I can show you again so, okay so normally you need to allow RDP port which is 3389 by default to check the if the UFW is active that means the firewall is active in your uh, Parrot OS uh, you're going to type sudo UFW status so you, command not found me I I don't I I didn't install the firewall on my machine uh, let me try to install sudo api install ufw file so now I'm going to uh, install the firewall on my system so you can see it just installed now I'm going to type um, sudo ufw status um, sudo ufw status uh okay so it says inactive so you can see um for some reason i cannot see because of these lights so i'm so sorry it just give me one time i just type again so you can see it's inactive so i don't need to be worried if it's active so what you need to do is here uh i don't know if it's inactive i can run this command but just in case if you're in that situation like active status you type sudo uh, ufw that's the unconditional firewall uh, allow uh, I'm going to type the port number RDP port number 3389 TCP okay you can see rules updated so should be fine now so this commands open the port required for RDP connections ensuring that the firewall won't block our connections so because it's inactive I don't care but if it's an active status I need to be uh, focus on this right so just in case in your situation if it's active just run this rule should be fine next uh, we need to we need the IP address of the Raspberry Pi connect remotely uh, to find type the following command okay so host name I uh, we can see this is the IP address so this is the IP address we're going to use to uh, RDP now uh, let's connect Parrot OS from another device I'm going to jump into my Windows device and I'm going to open RDP connection and I'm going to show you how to connect so just in case just reboot this machine uh, I already reboot so I'm going to jump into my other machine okay now what I did is I just uh, type the IP address I opened the RDP connection on my Windows machine and I type the IP address and just pop up this box. Uh, you can see login to RP, uh, login to PI Samurai. That's the Raspberry Pi. Uh, uh, actually, the Parrot OS host name we change it. And session is org. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep that default. A username normally Parrot OS when you install on Raspberry Pi, the username already there like PI. That's the username and if you want to change your username it's a little bit complicated uh, because I mean it's not complicated you can do it you can need to copy all your settings all your security stuff to another one and make it uh, available 
uh, then you need to disable this one so i already create those videos on my channel so if you want please go back and find that video i'll try to put on description field if you want it so you know how to change the username but the main thing is to change the passwords we did it so i'm going to type the password and we able to rdp to our palette os and there you have it you have successfully set up rdp on parrot os enabling remote access to your raspberry pi 5 now you can control your uh, raspberry pi from anywhere on your network making it much easier to manage update or work on project without needing a dedicated monitor keyboard or mouse if you're interested in hacking and security stay tuned in my next video i'll be diving into some exciting security related projects where i will use this rdp connection to jump into the raspberry pi x raspberry pi 5 and explorer hacking tools ethical hacking techniques and more more i have a lot of things uh, so this setup is going to be incredibly useful for accessing and testing directly on raspberry pi so make sure you have it ready your raspberry pi ready rdp connection so we're going to do so many projects thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of my upcoming video series security video series so see you next time it samurai cheater thank you